guys I just finished filming I did this look here using my Shenexo palette on my lips and eyes what is this Today I really want to do some baking. I want to bake some if you draw muffins because my tree is just like unloading itself. There's literally like 15 feedrollers on the ground outside right now and I picked them up yesterday so that's like overnight 15, okay? So I've got a lot of feedrollers. So yeah, I feel like I might make some muffins and I don't know. I don't know what else I'm doing with my day today. I've just got emails and work stuff to do and extra beauty stuff to do and some editing probs. I love this makeup look. This look color is perfect. And these lashes are the sleigh lashes, the Shelby sleigh lashes. They're really pretty, really long. So me and Hamish have decided we're going to go out for lunch today. Here's what I'm wearing. Necklace, I think I got this off once it or misguided or something it was ages ago. And then this top is from Romwear. These jeans are by Wrangler. And then my shoes, I think, are from Princess Polly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I've got my jeans rolled up too because I'm so short and they're way too long for me. So yeah, and then this actually has a band, but I don't know whether to show the band or have it tucked under like I just did. I don't know. I look so tall on camera, but I'm really not. <laughs> it's all an illusion. I think I like it better like that. And then I'm wearing up my Givenchy handbag. We're off to get some lunch. There's so many robots down this road lately. Are they still doing the power line stuff or is it I'm so confused? Oh, so what do they keep doing down here? Every time I leave my house, it's like roadworks. Oh, maybe they are. Oh, I don't know. Because these used to be underground and they had to put them above. Why'd they put them above the ground? I don't even know. Didn't it break? Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe they had to repair it or something. So like, they like tore them all out from under the ground, put them above the ground. And then they reckon they're going to put them back under the ground at some stage. And I'm like, what the heck? Anyway. It's really annoying because this is like, like, there's more roadworks up there. This isn't one of the main roads in Palmy and there's just like terrible roadworks all the time. But oh well, that's just life. Me and Hamish are going to go get some sushi. Hamish chose today because usually when I choose we go to Cafe Cuba and he's like, I want to choose. I was like, yep. Yeah. I knew you were going to say sushi and I felt like sushi so I didn't even care. <laughs> Green tea, which is always way too hot. <laughs> Yum. It's the best. It all came at once. What kind of sushi did you get? Chicken? Uh, chicken, chicken avocado. Chicken avocado, right? And I got avocado and what's this? Carrot, I think. Carrot and cucumber. I haven't even like started eating yet and it already came out already. It was so quick. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Oh, hi. Did you miss us? We were only gone for an hour. So soon I'm gonna make some Fijoa muffins. Um, so I'll vlog it. And also, well actually first I'm going to go do some editing real quick. So I'm going to first impression today. This foundation's looking pretty nice. By the way, I changed my lipstick before. Look how freaking cute you are. What are you doing? The sun was shining on him, but it's just popped behind a cloud. <gasps> hey. You're so handsome. What's your tongue doing? I am gonna go make some feed your muffins. Hopefully they taste good. I found a recipe on Chelsea Sugar website. Can't remember which recipe I used last time. I think it might've been like a family recipe, um, but I don't have it. So I'm Googling it and that's what came up. I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna make like a double batch and take some to my nanny and granddad. Cause they bought me the tree and I wanna be like, look, I baked these with the tree you gave me. It was my housewarming present from them, so that's how long it took to actually produce some Fijolas. We moved in early 2014, and it's now 2017. Took it long enough, but to be fair, um, I've had my lemon tree since I moved into my house in Auckland, so 2013, beginning of 2013, no, end of 2012, I think. Wait, I don't even remember. Anyway, I've had about four lemons off that tree ever and my orange tree's got nothing just nothing and i got that like a few months after my lemon tree so it's chelsea.co.nz fijoa recipe it just looked like an easy recipe and i was like yep i'll try that because they only take 10 minutes to prep and 10 minutes to cook apparently i'm not very good at baking guys i'm better at cooking than i am baking i'm not good at the whole like measuring thing 
you'd think it would be easy but I just guess and it's probably not a good idea when you're baking. Oh shit, I need milk to mix. Can I use almond milk? Because I'm going to. Here are my fijoas that I grew by myself. I act like I did something but really I just planted it in the ground. Add the fijoa. You. And it says two cups of flour and two teaspoons of baking powder. I have this because I'm dumb. I hope it works. Oh my gosh, there's stuff going everywhere. When people write recipes, do they account for like powder and stuff flying outside of the bowl? Because surely there's no longer two cups of flour in here. Okay, so I need it to be soft. What is soft? So now I'm just spooning this in here. Now these go in the oven for how long does this right? 10 to 15 minutes. Ew. Baking like stuff gets everywhere. Like look at all this. Just tied it up and now I'm going to edit a vlog thumbnail and put up a vlog. Okay. The oven's beeping, Louie. It's beeping. Oh my god, they smell so good. Ah. Oh my god, they actually look decent. Oh my god, they look good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm like pretty freaking proud of myself. Hopefully they taste as good as they look. Oh my god. I should have put cream cheese on them. Damn it. Guys, I messed up. I just realized that I didn't put non-stick into the non-stick pan. I mean, I didn't put oil into the pan to make it non-stick. Shit. 
I screwed up. Man, it was going so well. <laughs> They're falling apart. Oh god. Why? Maybe I'll wait for them to like cool down more. Yes. Okay, I'll taste test this like piece that fell off the bottom. Pretty good. They're a little bit dry. I feel like I should have used a little bit more of the almond milk. Maybe because almond milk's not like creamy like normal milk, but they're still good. In fact, I'm gonna eat a whole one. And then me and Hamish having an unhealthy dinner tonight. We are making nachos. I'm so excited. For the rest of the week, what did we have? We've had vegetables one night and made like tons of broccoli. I had this weird craving for broccoli, mashed potato, and silver beet. Go figure. So we had that one night, and then last night we made homemade like butter chicken curry with like potatoes and capsicums and onions it was so good i haven't made nachos in it forever probably like a year and a half i love making nachos i feel like they taste so much better than um cafe nachos i don't know we had like the best nachos in america i think this is what's triggered it because we're craving like american nachos and new zealand nachos are not as good so we're gonna make some and hopefully they're good so i'll show you how i make them too Okay, yeah, I just ate a whole one, actually half of one, Hamish and me went halves, and we had it with Olivani, and it was so good, so tangy, like the fijoa flavour was so strong, so good. You bit hungry? Well, he literally thinks he's getting treats every dinner time, eh? What's this? What is it? Okay, well, let me get some more than Zeus. Poor Zeus! You want some Zeus? Do you want some? Do you want some? Yum. <laughs> Is it good? So this is the cheats way of making nachos. <laughs> I'm just doing beans and salsa. I don't know how many we'll need. And a few tomatoes. I did both cans. It's gonna be enough um, nachos here for about eight people. So if any of you guys wanna come over and join us, feel free. <laughs> here you go. Did I just ruin your vlog? Mm-hmm. Props. Is it weird? Okay, come in. Go, go. 
we don't have ripe avocado. Here is <laughs> a guac. It's more of like a chunky avocado salsa. And the nachos are in the oven. And I'm gonna leave them in there for like, I don't know, a few more minutes, not long. Just till the cheese is all melted and the chips are hot. And that is how you make rip off nachos. Yum. What time is it? Holy, it's almost seven o'clock. Yeah. I've just been working like all afternoon and all night. What a great day. <laughs> Leftovers for miles, but that's good. That's great. I don't mind eating nachos again. We are going to have a spa. Got my bikini on. It's going to be freaking freezing cold, but I wanted to show you guys the lights. Light. Yeah, see how this one's changing color? Blue, and then it goes purple, and then it goes pink, and I need to hop in here before I freeze to death. Jets. For some reason, I have baby by Justin Bieber stuck in my head. So now, oh, I just washed my face, I've got like foam on my nose. Now that I have just had a spa and my pores are nice and open from the steam and the heat, my hair looks really bad right now. I don't even think this is better. Anyway, I wanna do an exfoliating mask because I can feel my skin's quite like rough just around here i get quite like rough skin around here and real dry down here okay so i used this like a week ago and it was amazing it like not burns your face but it's very minty fresh it like tingles a lot on your face so if you have sensitive skin not sure if it's for you but it made my skin feel like brand new afterwards and it was so refreshing and like invigorating i love that so yeah, I'm gonna use this. The texture's kind of like a creamier glam glow, like it's got the big bits in it. By the way, I feel like I'm 10 years old wearing this top. Oh god, it's in my hair. Now I'm gonna leave it on for like 10 minutes. Oh, that feels very cooling. How did I manage to get so much of this in my eyebrows? I just put some facial oil on. My skin feels so... I'm vlogging! Pink AF from like scrubbing their face mask off but it feels so much smoother now. Like down here and down here. Oh, I love it. It makes my skin feel so clean. So yeah, yet another good Korean beauty face mask. I'm gonna go to sleep now. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!